Game Dev Journey. Hey everyone, it's Rob from Game Dev Journey. Happy Friday! It's the weekend, baby! Time for some indie devlogs, but first, a joke. Do you know which is the most spiritual video game? Among Us. Like if you laughed and subscribe for more jokes like this. And now, on to the devlogs! When we first visited Das Chala, he had 478 subs, and now he has almost doubled that. He was busy making a pixel shooter in Godot Engine in the bullet hell style. The game has come a long way, and the latest devlog details how the resource system was added to the game. If you are interested in pixel perfect bullet hell shooters in an Among Us space simulator style, go and sit at the feet of Das Chala. When I first found the channel for the game Echo Beach, I was blown away by the concept and equally impressed by the content. I honestly expected this channel to blow up and thought that when I revisited in the future it would be massive. Sadly that is not the case and I really encourage you to visit the channel and find out more about the game. This is where you spent the best vacations of your childhood, golden sandy beaches, awesome arcades, zen, tranquility and friendly faces. No one's quite sure why people stopped coming, but soon Echo Beach was a shell of its past days. You have answered the call to return to Echo Beach once again and return its former glory with your building skills. Echo Beach looks awesome, but don't take my word for it. Visit the channel and see for yourself. Oddest Eagle is one of the hardest working indie devs I know. He constantly posts on Twitter and YouTube and I really think he deserves a major subscriber boost. His game Slashing Samurai is coming along well. Oddest Eagle really is putting in the effort to make regular devlogs and could use our support to motivate him to keep working on his game and finish it. Slash and dash your way over there now. Nick the Thick is another indie dev who has doubled his sub count since we last saw him. His game is looking gorgeous and clearly progress is being made swiftly. The latest devlog takes you through the process of designing a unique boss fight. Well worth a watch. Nick is clearly a talented artist and his devlogs are entertaining too so check it out. Alex Renard's channel has grown nicely since we last checked in and so has progress on his role playing game Project Dagger. In his latest video you can watch a time lapse of 6 months of work on the game in a single video. If you want to know what it takes and what goes into making your own video game, then this is definitely worth your time. That's all for this week, thanks for joining me and I hope to see you all again next time.